course, I also don't want to massively stock up on fans. Like road rage kit. <laughs> I feel like this will be such good news. He said luckily it was bad weather, so he hasn't gone over 55 anyway. Wow. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I've just wiped about like four things off the board. And we'll be well ahead of the game, getting ahead of these warranty claims. And then best car bought. Yeah, we've got two customer jobs basically on today. One's a very easy one, one's a warranty. Um. Right, so what's the next priority workshop wise? Um, well, we've got focus engine, uh, 3008 gearbox or well, clutch. Um, they're both here. Smart car. Vitara gearbox, gearbox leak. Smart car warranty, but that's kind of been, that's not so much pressure because she's got a yeah, she she red, red, car, she's got red smart car. All right, so we've got stuff we can do today, workshop wise. Just depends on what people wish to so dive into. Uh, the the steering rack thing, yeah. 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 It'd be good if by the end of the day we could have at least started the engine swap on this thingy, so we can say we're starting it today. Yeah, because the deal is if we don't. Do it by the time his next payment goes out. Yeah, for sure. So that's about a week. I can just put that, we can just put that straight on first thing this morning. Because one, one job's going straight to. Um, Depends on what Adrian's strength feels well, like. Well, does anyone want to have a look at this 208 there? Knocking noise in the front and roof move not working. Roof uh, move lights not working. Yeah, I can, roof move light. Apparently it's got yeah, it's lights in the, in the roof. In the roof. Sounds sexy. It's a pleasure. It's actually not. Yeah. Okay, do that first then. Then, of course, uh, then we'll be getting the. Focus in whoever's doing whatever and we'll work around for a minute. It's not making plan. We don't have that as much in the diary this week. No, no, no. So I'm gonna, with the warranty, I'm going to go through after we've done this and I go through yeah. and start getting things into the diary. Are they going out today, James? Uh, nothing today, but for you, Jordan, Cougar's going out tomorrow. Blue Cougar, that's ready. Uh, sold cars, we've got the black smart car, which I need you to polish. At some point, I mean, I don't know whether it goes to the workshop first or. But basically, you can see what we've got paint on it. Um, and I saw the silver micro, which you would like ASAP or just a PDI to service. Okay. Well, I've said we'll do our best. Uh, so we probably squeeze that in this one before we I start the engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The wheel studs on the Cougar. Uh, that's yeah, exactly what I was about to say next. So they have the stuff around. We've got the bits of the wheel studs on the Cougar, so we can get the right ones. Yeah, so we can get that sorted. It'd be good I, to get I, that I back to them because the car we've got. Oh, you've got Tebow, my drunk driver. Check me the micro. Get those parts already. Um, what's going with the evoke? Is that finished? Or? No, not yet. No, that. So, I moved it out because I have a test drive with it. Okay, cool. It's not finished. Not clean with the yeah. there were about 5 million cars that turned up at the end of the week last week, so there are quite a fair few cars to be just gone through. Yeah, but let's best Gen prioritise whatever it was that was going out tomorrow. Do that. Mm. Get your sure just board up there and maybe bring it somewhere closer that everyone can write on. And I, I can write on as cars come in, so you've got a list of cars. Um, everything needs like its first stage pass before you start going back and polishing things unless someone specifically asks you to. Um, yeah, cool. Sorted. Right, your voice. Who's doing the energy right? Six to ten of them. They'll be easier to sell yeah. than when you've oh, got one of yeah. the cars. So, oh, I also, I also don't want to massively stock up on vans before we sort some of the stuff out down the farm because it's fucking overflowing down there. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I mean, that is the plan. So we'll have like 10 you or 12 should. down there just lined up nice and. Yeah, that's it. Get three down there at a time. Hopefully, we'll sell it fast as anything. I'm sure, we will.
brake pads help. We eat in two things at the same time. Yeah, if I eat this at home, I'll have a bit of skier, yogurt, chop up an apple and have it in so it gives it a bit of texture, a bit of mouth feel, that sort of thing. But this way, I just manually scoop in some yogurt. Out from apple. Yeah. 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 Should be filming our lovely new Honda Jones. Beautiful. Eighteen thousand miles. Picked up the wrong egg muffin thing. Oh, there was a right bait. Monkeys use your talk before. Take the pairs. Um, yeah, that's the only one. Yeah, that'll do, it's better than nothing. If it fits in the drill. That should fit in our standards. Oh, yeah, I know, but it's soft one, it's only probably 10 mil. Genius. If you can now give this a gel sole, yeah. take off the whatever and you can write all the cards that need to be done on there. If we've got any more sticky pan things, we'll put some on or something. It's just you, but people might be watching this, obviously. Some people do. A select few of incredible people, incredible minds, who see this as interesting things to watch. Bang, 
drink around the front of you, and if it's reasonably tidy, you can take it over to the. Uh, I mean, it smells lovely. Does it? Yeah, it smells very. girly. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll take it over and get some clothes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to breathe? Yeah, go on. You got a cup? Yeah. And then I went up to AK to go and get some wheel trims. I'm hanging up on the thing here, the Milwaukee knives themselves. I've been trying to get one for ages. No, it's 20 quid. 20 quid? you give me a discount. Oh, did you? No, I thought you would, but you didn't. No, you didn't. When I went in there to get something for here. Um, is it relays and stuff? He charged me full retail. I said it's trade, and I've bloody received. Yeah, yeah. And I started like... chatting with him, and I got some wheel trims that were thirty quid. And normally, he would have done those for like twenty quid for me. And the knife, I thought he'd do it a bit cheaper, but he didn't. And maybe it's because we used to always go to him for another place. And now we don't. I don't know. Oh, what? Peacocks. Okay. Peacocks. Uh, it's just one tire. It's got a couple of advisories for that tyre and a suspension arm. So it looks like our chap has started pricing it up and we can get it done, but uh, it probably won't be today. Yeah, do, we, well, the only thing we're waiting for the, for the car to come back so I can see what brand of tyre it is and what the size is, I'll then get a price and I can give you a call and, and let you know how much it will be. Uh, it looks like it's about £60 for the part. Uh, it's about an hour and a half to fit it. Um, so you're probably looking at about two hours of labour and maybe, you know, a hundred or so in tire and part so um, I will come back to you with an exact figure though and then let you know exactly where we can get it done as well. No problem, speak to you soon. Cheers mate. Have you seen this? So it's peacocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I thought funny about that? Is the original registration for that car is BJ09 <laughs> something and the Personalised plate they put on there is P. Cox. That's what peacocks do, isn't it? That'd be in the intro, wouldn't it, Toby? What does it tell you about my mind? Like, I saw a road, whatever that is, guard carrier or something. And I, thought, I assumed it said something about like road rage kit, <laughs> which is what I need. That was a free screws. I might. I think I've got to get the sewing kit out on the driver's seat. The thing I love about commercials, though, is. They clean up so nice and easy. Yeah, give the wheels, much, give yeah. the wheels a fresh coat of paint, and it just. Yeah. yeah it I don't know how much Corley said it drove, but yeah, I mean, I can sew that up a lot neater. Yeah. I feel like this would be such good news. Yeah. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Just yeah, fans, just advice. fans like this, like even better if it's probably empty in the back. Someone will want the racking, yeah. but anyone else will be would we'll rip it out for them. Yeah, but good, yeah. But I mean, the last one of these I sold was Duncan's, who worked for me doing the plumbing, because I gave him my oh, van, because yeah. I had the, the sporty version with yeah. air conditioning. And it was gone like that, a bloke came up from Cornwall to get it. Yeah. That's it, there's, there's a market with, you know, vans. And it's only, what, 80,000 miles? Yeah. Oh, cracking the windscreen, so here's a windscreen. Funny, that's his, is that his Fiesta? No, really. National windscreen, then. Yeah, I can't remember. I think I knew that when I saw that, but I thought, you know. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I, I, I think the same about the Fiesta, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Very nice. What was this in? This is in oh, the Cougar? Yeah. Oh, okay. For four and a bit, sell for six and a bit. Lovely. Probably that you know, 120,000 miles, full history, two keys. Super job. No rattles. Left, yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of water in your lens. Yeah. Yeah, I know that's my problem. I always keep one in the thing, so a magnetic one, but you also obviously had a. Uh, Proper mm. trade plate as well. Big chest. 
five minutes before Josh has turned up, and he's like, all right, I'm like, you realise you've got an absolutely shredded to pieces tyre. I was like, oh, I didn't even see that. It's like, but I said to him, how can you not Josh should know this, anyway, he received his, from his taco card. First 15 minutes should show that you aren't driving, that your taco card's gone in as you're doing your vehicle check. Yeah. So he should, know, he should know that. Wow, they don't give you any training for that, you just get a car. <laughs> Yeah. He said, luckily it was bad weather, so he hasn't gone over 55 anyway. Well, that's right, so well, lucky <laughs> the, the car going in the opposite direction that got hit in the windscreen was doing 70, so yeah. it's a combined of 125, but you know. Well, he's going to drive the van back and leave it, and they, they've got a plan to work out between themselves, apparently. minutes into three hours. Right, what? <laughs> Adrian, you wanted a large jacket, are you not extra large? Uh, large, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, medium. Medium. Yeah. Medium. medium. You can take the toilet paper off the tassels if you want. Thanks. Oh, does you name as well? Yeah. Switch. 
Look at oh, I think that's what everyone ordered and who wanted what. And yeah, you haven't got one, one, so double XL. I think I would have left my dad. Josh and McCauley head gas. Look at that. Awesome. Double cover I guess. Good for you, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Medium. That's how that I think we discussed whether it was a small or a medium or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you want a polo, Adrian, or not? Yes, do you order a polo? Thank you, polo. Thank you. It's four medium t-shirts. Did I get you four? Dan probably wears a medium. Potentially in there. Go and have a look. Uh, oh, it's like Mark sat down, potentially having his lunch oh, okay. at the end of the workshop, and then Jordan's definitely had his lunch, so he should be about. I will find him. What would you like him for? I just to see if he finished the Range Rover. I guess it may. I've got Right, okay, no problem. That's fair enough. Um, who Who is it going up with? Yeah, I think they've sort of cleared up. No, no. That's fine. Um, no, I really appreciate that. And I, is it going under the situation that it can't be car sales? Or you, you, you're you not sure? Yeah, I, I assume you own another site that car base are in, I take it. Is that the... <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. No, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. No, no, I appreciate you giving me a call. All right. And you, thanks. Cheers, bye-bye. That was our guy with the other side, basically saying it's now going to a letting agent. I don't think they're going to advertise it. They're just going to phone through the list of people who've already inquired. And sounds like I'll be low on the list of priorities because he'd rather like leisure or something go in there or whatever. So it's the uh, the old car site that you've probably seen in the previous video. If you haven't, Toby will put that up. That's what I was trying to get. Um, but it looks like we probably won't. But that's okay. We will find something else. I think the issue, I couldn't really understand when I first inquired, he said, oh, we can't really have car sales in there because car base have come out, have put it in their lease that we shouldn't be, we shouldn't put car sales in there again. We're not allowed to, if he's having the lawyers look at it. Oh, well, how can you do that? Once the lease is over, the lease is over. You can't have long lasting stipulations. But I think this chap who owns this site probably owns other sites, like their Limpsham branch, for example, where they rent as well. So. They might start getting uppity that, you know, they've left, I don't see how if they're leaving the site, but you know, who knows? They could have a very good relationship with this guy. They might, when they're looking for new sites, say to him, do you want to buy a site and we'll lease it off you because we've got such a good arrangement. Um, who knows? I don't know the inner workings of Carbase, etc. All I can tell you is we probably won't be getting that site, which is a shame. It'll probably go to caravans and motorhomes as if there aren't enough of those around there anyway. Um, which is sad and a shame really that Carbase will kind of throw their weight around like that because Carbase was started at that site as just, you know, 
Simon, what's his face is Winter. So, uh, yeah, Steve Winter. Steve Winter. Uh, Brent Cars. He started up. Now he's got a car supermarket. So you know, it helped someone get on their way to making a big business, but never again. Hey ho! Life goes on. Right, so I want to take a quick minute to talk about today's video sponsor, which is QuickBooks. It's an obvious one for me because I use QuickBooks for all of my businesses for Betty Heating Services, for Barrow Motors. We've even got a separate one going for Barrow Motors Transport and even for my YouTube company now. I've got QuickBooks on there because it's so user-friendly. They can handle everything from VAT to your personal tax return. You can link your bank. You can give your accountant a login so they can come in and do all the filing for you. I've got it on my phone, so if I want to check the state of the business or if I want to send a quick invoice that I've forgotten to do from my phone, I can do that. One thing I really love, if you are going to be doing the bookkeeping yourself, is that you can take pictures of all your receipts and input it straight into QuickBooks so it's really easy to handle all your tax and check that you're getting your VAT back, all that sort of stuff. Frankly, QuickBooks should be sponsoring me at this point because I use them so much. They said they couldn't do that, but what they could do was give me a unique link that would give you, my viewers, 90% off for seven months if you want to sign up to QuickBooks, if you are a serial entrepreneur like myself, or whether you just have your own little boutique business, you can save yourself a chunk of cash with an awesome online accounting and invoicing system. Just click the link in the description and they will take it from there. Quite full at the uh, Barrow Scrapyard Farm, aren't we? We'll just take this. You okay? How far is it? I mean, it's not that far away. Just take that. Um, it's actually down Dumble. Oh, oh yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah, take yeah. this. Yeah. That's fine. Got my little mouth bake stations because all the mousies are getting all the carbs. Oh, there's two in it. Hang in. What do I do? That's it. New sizes of merchandise now for those of you who said we didn't have medium, we didn't have. Uh, 2XL, 3XL. Now we do. Get your orders in because I've got way more than I'll probably ever sell. Hey, hey. Right. He did say bring something headed with a barrow, but you can take my business card. You can have a truck. You've got uniform. Yeah. You take. Who said that? You or him? Yeah, me. Oh, that's weird. It's like a paradoxical sound thing going on. You've got the spare key. Nice. Uh, oh, yes. The bottle opener. Oh, yeah. oh, it's a bit pretty smeggy on that side, actually, Toby. You're welcome to it, but that was put in there so it didn't get lost. 
to you know devalue the car now the car's smashed into a million pieces right. uh spare key cards there's the letter they've sent me yeah obviously we don't want to lose any of this stuff um well then tell us the media if they want my driving license i can send you a picture yeah, it's fine. i'm sure they're going to be pretty cool they just obviously don't want to hand it out to random people no problem if um, the interior is all hanging out and whatever make sure it's stowed away safely and in a bit. So is our max on it? What's that? I don't know. And maybe it's like behind. Oh, Jet Recovery. There's a van. So maybe ah, there they are. To the left. Not this one. Next one. Maps next. lied to me. That's all. Oh yeah, that big sign. This is Jet yeah, Recovery. The big sign. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense to me here actually. Wow. Yeah, there's no wonder they. The, the middle, what would it be? The B pillar's missing. So it's just like an open sided car. Up off on the front. That polish out. Oh. Look at that. It's holy. Shish kebabs. Mm. That is bad. Do you want the seats, Toby? Because we're making new like job sheets for checking in cars. Uh, which I haven't got an example I can show you currently. Oh I have actually if I take it out. The bin being very wasteful. So when we get a car in, obviously this will just be half. We can keep a record of everything, we can keep with every car, although I think we're going to do them A4 size, like this. So, like that. And, yeah. Mark what paint it needs, wheels, etc. Parts that are already on order, any interior bits that need doing. And, it should be flipped around, which I'll do in a minute. Uh, yeah, one for each car, and we'll be well ahead of the game. Getting ahead of these warranty claims. Do you know what? I've got a load of people in the comments saying, like, if it stops on any shit cars, you wouldn't get so many warranty claims. You stop tucking people up. Oh, f off, you f sad bit of twats. Like, we're, selling, we're prepping the cars perfectly fine, but they're used items. Things go wrong occasionally, and we're having a little run of bad luck. It happens in, well, used car dealerships, and in business in general. Doesn't mean we're doing anything wrong. Just because, why are people so sad? and pathetic and bitter that they want to be like Ow, you're doing it wrong I'm so clever it's like oh go downstairs and tell your mummy how you won on the internet by saying something like anyway that's all I got to say about that yet Tuesday apparently surges as they're driving along. Which well, one went out? The blue one! Yeah, I guess so. The blue so the husband's really concerned because they had a similar thing on the cash guy a year or so before and it was a big job to fix or something, it needed something major and he's really now really concerned, he's very not happy with it. Oh, I mean she was very lovely and yeah, whatever. She is, but yeah. Uh, um, and she's, you know, she's. They're not using it for the weekend. I said we'd pick it up Monday and we'd have a look at it. 
Uh, fuck, is that open <laughs> trophy? Fucking lovely. Condition. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I've just wiped about like four things off the board. The, the uh, S class, that's now been sorted. Yeah. Obviously, the smart car, 53 plate with the whatever, that's just going to get scrapped, so that's well, off. Um, I course, well, done. The other ones yeah, are done. already off, but there's a load of other things still on here. Um, what's, what's left? Oh, S Max EGR, what's happened with that? Gone, gone, done, done, gone, 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 you can pick it up. So all we've got left is the Focus ST, the Peugeot 3008, the Clutch Clutch. Oh, Peugeot 3008, test friends got the gearbox and everything yeah. else could be done this they weekend. Right. So now we've got a 208 exhaust, but that's probably not. We're not doing that, are we? It's getting done on a different Yeah, we're, I mean, we're not doing anything. Because it sounds like the The most happens. that's going to cost us it's Wait. going to be 150 quid. There's no way it's going to cost more the than the BMW 3 Series was well, on there, but that's not quiz, a warranty it's anymore. Because it's not, got a, it's not a customer warranty because yeah. we've now bought it back. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we've got Focus, Peugeot 3008, and Cougar. That's it. With that BMW, it feels like we've got more. Bad, yeah. We've had a list of stuff. But yeah. With that BMW 3 Series, no one's plugged it in. So no, I know. Yeah, but yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll have to, we'll get it back because apparently it doesn't right start. On. We'll get it back here, figure out what's going on, and then we'll, we'll sell it from the farm. There's like a trade. It came back in as a same vault, but no one's tried to program in or even see if we can. No, no, but yeah. Yeah, so. Um, we've got the Octavia with the heating matrix, that's one on there. Yeah. It needs to go on there. Did we work by a bar of oil for £399.60 on today, Henry? Right, so we need to do best car bought and best car sold. Uh, I think most of the cars we've sold this week have actually gone out already. So probably the best one was a Kia Sportage, which isn't here anymore. I can't think of what else is here that has sold. There was a nice smart car that went out. Uh, they were quite quick turn. Do you know what was really good? So we sold the Tornio and I bought that at auction last week when we were with uh, Chops. We took a, a deposit on that and it was sold like in less than a week, but then they changed their mind. So now it's not sold. So that that would have been last car sale of the week, but it isn't sadly. So I'm going to say that Sportage that went out, and then best car bought. We got uh, a Golf Cabriolet. We were taken in part exchange for the Sportage, and I think it might have been Elvis's car. There's lots of Elvis memorabilia in there, but I'm not actually that fond of it. So. One of these vans, I reckon. Maybe the nice Citroen Dispatch van, 2019. They're just actually quite cool and modern inside these things, so I quite like them. We're trying to stock a few vans at the moment, try that as a different avenue of things to do. Uh, so we've got a Tornio, a Dispatch, a Berlingo, which isn't here. We've got a Vivaro van. That's the next BT Openreach van. It's all kitted out in there. There's racks and drawers and stuff like that i like all that sort of stuff and it's got flashy beacons and stuff that excited toby he loved that so yeah that is it for uh this week and uh yeah we've done the whole thing with the crashed uh golf this week our customer lizzie got crashed and as we sort of walk out of the office now the fundraiser's on three thousand six hundred pounds be amazing to see what it is when it comes round to this going out live i haven't even spoken to them yet to let them know that i've done it i thought i'll leave it for a few days maybe wait till we get round to monday and i'll give them a call and say look what the lovely people who watch shifting metal have done um 
that, yeah, I need to, uh, I feel like I should leave it for a minute until it builds up. I don't want to say, you know, we've got 3,604 you because it, it might go more. Seems like everyone still wants to donate, which is amazing. I can't think of anything else to tell you, really. I think things are on the, on the move, on the mend, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to another busy week next week. Could do my good day off tomorrow. Got a banging headache still. I've had a headache most of the week. Don't forget that you can still win my Mercedes SL500 for just two pounds. That's running for another couple of weeks yet. Um, been quite a good bit of interest. Find the link in the description. Make sure you get yourself entered before it's too late. And that's it. We'll see you next week.